Okay, Robocraft 2 tutorial. Let's go. Go into build mode. There's a lengthy... Never mind, it's not lengthy, but there was a loading screen. Okay, um... Quickly place a single block. Press F5. This is to uh, save your robot. So, we'll just call it My Car. You can click save and it will give you a garage bay for it. Then what I'm doing here is if you click once, you get to scale the block however you want. Click again and you can raise it. And click one more time and it will place. Uh huh. And then, yep. So, you can follow along with this. Uh, we'll build the bot together. Uh, there's the pilot seat. Your pilot goes in that when you're controlling it. Uh, if a block flashes black and red, that means you can't place it because it's colliding with something. So be careful of that. Uh huh. Alright, so. Another thing. Um, if you press Q, that will show you every single thing you can use in the game. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, logic, math, sensors, and both of these joints. You don't have to worry about those, they're pretty sophisticated stuff. If you want more shapes to work with when you're building, you can find them under shapes. Um, you probably don't want to worry about thrusters or anti-gravity modules or anything like that because they're for flyers and flyers can get pretty complicated. Um, just to start with, I'd say you want to practice with wheels and um, lasers, plasmas, and the aiming joints. Just all of the things out on the hotbar are good things to start with. So to start, to start uh, let's do the wheels. So you can rotate things by um, you just using the scroll wheel or you can press R. Uh, the uh, wheel that I'm on right now is the standard wheel. The wheel that's turned a little bit, that's a steering wheel. Um, if you press F, you can flip the part that you're currently holding. It does not activate mirror mode, that's not in the game yet, but it will be soon. If you hold your mouse over a part and you press E, it will give you this little window here. Click the cog to change its settings, and we want to change the back two wheels to, from steering normal to inverted. You can pr uh, click tab to close everything, press B to go back to blocks. Everything, that was the wiring mode, so everything wires automatically. Um, so you don't have to worry about learning to wire anything when you're just using wheels, but it, it is useful to be able to see like how you change the settings of parts. That can be useful in a couple of ways, actually. Um, now these are aiming joints. So the red arrow on the aiming joints, that needs to point in the same direction as the arrows on the floor or towards the window. So we're just gonna place that there. You can actually place excuse me, um, aiming servo sideways, and that will give you a complete uh, gun rig. Um, you just need to make sure the red arrows are pointing towards the window. Let's do this. Actually, I've changed my mind. Let's do it like this. It's a bit more slick. Okay, and then we'll quickly join them. And these are lasers, they're a bit larger than plasmas. And over here, what we want to do is we want to get a smaller thing. If if you want to know how I increase the size of those, it's just shift and then scroll wheel. And you can do that up and down to increase or decrease the size. Aiming hinges work a little bit differently. The red square on the front is what needs to be facing towards the window. So if you do this and you put a gun on top of that, it won't actually work correctly. So you need to do it like this. Uh -huh. And then because this is not a very heavy turret, we probably want a pretty decently sized counterweight so it prevents it from wobbling a whole bunch. 
um, if you press M, so in block mode, press M, that puts you in material mode, and you have the options to make your blocks really light, medium, make them glow, and that's the same as medium, or heavy. So if you just uh, select heavy and then you click on each of these parts, you can make them all a little bit stronger. And we'll do it over here too because this turret is going to be very heavy, so if we do that then the car will be balanced and it won't lean forward. Now, make sure you save throughout your um, building process. I forgot a part here. And if you want to change the screenshot of your build, you can go here, so press escape, and then menu, we take screenshot, uh, yep, and then since that's imposing looking now that we've changed the screenshot, we can change it to my powerful car, and that will change the name of the bay itself. So I'm making a new one, uh, hit enter to test, and this will go into the test mode. So yeah, you can see it still wobbles a little bit, but I've reduced the wobbling quite a bit by just adding some weight to the back. You can fight these robots, but they're not they're not a very good measure of whether or not your robot's good, because they're kind of dumb. We return to build mode by pressing escape. And then we can exit here as well. We've already saved, so we don't have to worry about that. If you scroll all the way down, you'll find your robot and you can change the map that you want to test in. We're not going to do that right now though. And lastly, multiplayer sessions. So if you click this calendar here, um, these are the current servers. You need 130 milliseconds of ping or less to be able to join a server. Um, and this multiplayer only happens at uh, exact times that the developers schedule in advance. And when there is a playtest session, you'll be able to enter it by clicking, uh, clicking, clicking quick play here. If there's none, you won't be able to. Um, you can, you'll be able to know when a playtest session is happening by keeping track of the Discord server, which you can find by clicking on that. 